If you like unique mods, this might be one for you. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Camry 100 on the Vapor Chronicles. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to this edition of the Vapor Chronicles. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Camry 100. Now the Camry 100 was sent to me by Sigabuy.com. It is a 100 watt variable voltage device. The price is, with the link that I'm going to put below, it is a $76.26 device. and. Basically, you know, it's a dual 18650, 100 watt, adjustable, interesting looking wood mod. And uh, you know what, let's get into the details, let's zoom in, we'll take a look, we'll break it down, and I'll tell you if it's any good, because that's why I'm here, in my opinion, obviously. So let's, uh, let's take a vape real quick, and then we'll zoom in. Let's do it. All right, so here's the outside of the Camry 100 box. It looks like they use the same box as the Camry 200. Authenticity scratch. Color I received is the walnut color. And here's the instruction booklet that also shares the same as the 200. So you can see you have both. And here's the device. Let's talk about some technical specifications. So the Camry 100 watt variable wattage box, uh, advanced personal vaporizer, can go between seven watts to 100 watts. It'll support 0.15 ohms all the way up to three ohms for resistance. So it does have a 360 degree rotating switch to adjust the wattage in 0.1 watt increments. It has an OLED screen that shows battery life, power, wattage, voltage, atomizer resistance, puffs, low power indicator, atomizer, short, no atomizer detected, and it has 8 second protection and you can also power on and off the device. It also has temperature protection on the chip reverse polarity battery protection. The design is made of real wood for the outer body. It also has a micro USB charging port. Maximum apple current is 20 amps and it uses two 18650 batteries which are not included. So let's take a look real quick at the device itself. The first thing you'll notice when you pick this up is that it's quite heavy. Whatever this material is, some sort of a metal, maybe it's a brass, I'm not really sure. It doesn't say on the website or in the description. Uh, but it, you know, it has a nice finish to it. You can zoom in. You can see it says Camry 100 here, micro USB port for charging. This is your on and off button with an LED indicator light. And you can see at the top here, a little bit of juice from me. This is your 510, which is non-adjustable and non-floating. So it's stuck in that position, which I don't think is great. And this is your OLED screen. This is your adjustment dial. This is the wood body. Which is a real wood. And the bottom of the device, you have your battery compartment door. It says positive, negative to show you which way to put your batteries in. And to open it, you just slide this little slide this way and it opens up. And you can see that the inside of the mod is metal. and your contacts are spring. So to put your batteries in, you wanna put your hydrogen battery up positive. 
negative, put it down like this, push, and slide this over. Now once they're in, there's no rattle from there. The only rattle is from the button, which has a slight rattle to it, which I don't think is the greatest, but it does it. It does fire nice and clicky. So the interface is pretty simple. You have five clicks to turn on, one, two, three, four, five. And once it's on, it'll say no atomizer. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to connect an atomizer. So here we have, you can see on the screen you have your resistance. You also have your, how many puffs you've taken. You have your voltage and you have your wattage. One of the interesting things is that you have this dial here on the side that you spin to adjust. The problem is, is that say you have it set to seven watts. Now, most people aren't gonna vape at seven watts, so this is kind of a nitpick. But say by chance, you bump this. Notice how you're at 40 watts, because it spins freely in each direction in one watt increments. But it goes back all the way around. Now, one of the noticeable things that I've, I've come across is the way that this wheel spins. Now, when I turn this, it's very, very loose, and then it gets, all of a sudden, it gets very, very tight, and then it gets very, very, this is very loose, keep going, and now it's very tight here. So it's very inconsistent. It also doesn't have a nice notched click, click, click feel, so it's sloppy. It's very loose, and then it gets tight, and then there it gets loose again. So it's it's not the most quality dial. It is easy to adjust. Um, and you'll also notice with the 0.6 ohm resistance, you'll notice that your max is 40, 4.9 volts. And then as soon as you go past there, it limits the power. In order to get the maximum watts, see how inconsistent that is? Let's go back to 38 or 40. Hit the power button three times. One, two, three. Super mode. Tells you you have to have used a 25 amp or up bat or above battery. And then you'll notice that if I continue going up, it'll go higher, higher still. So the maximum you'll be able to hit is 78 watts, 6.7 volts with a 0.6 ohm coil. I shared with I shared this with you on purpose. See the battery level indication here? Depending on the battery charge you have in here, it will determine how much output you'll, you'll be able to achieve. So let me take this off. Let me put this back on. So this is reading 0.6, and we're still in super mode. So we can hit a maximum of 77 watts. Let's put new batteries in and see what we can achieve. This is also reading 0.6, same as before, and we're still in super mode, but look at this. Now we can go even higher. So there we are, 99 watts, 0.6 ohms. Even just firing that though, it limits uh, because you have to have a full charge to be able to hit that. And you can see, see how inconsistent this little wheel is? It can switch very easily 
and get kind of sloppy. So there you go. Overall though, the, the, it does fire rather quick. There's no delay. Uh, it does work, but the wheel needs to be definitely worked on. And I, I'm gonna harp on that because I feel like the device is so close to being a wonderful device, but it just has these little limitations. But for the price for 100 watts for what you get, is it a good mod? Yes, it's good. It's not great, it's not excellent, but it's good. All right, if you do want to charge, you're going to need a USB charging cable because this did not come with one. But I do like the battery uh, swap ability and I do like the power uh, capacity of the mod as long as you have fully charged batteries. So there you have it. All right, guys, let's zoom back out and I'll give you my final words and impressions. All right, guys, so we took a look and you know, I'm kind of torn on this device, similar to the Camry 200. Camry's, I don't know what Camry's doing. Camry is coming out with different looking, unique devices that almost hit the marks that I would want. And they definitely intrigued me enough to start looking at their advertising and, you know, and all the different paper, um, all the different internet information that they have on these devices. But when I get them in my hand and I start to take them apart and play with them, there's just things that were overlooked. And I don't know if it's a budgeting issue or if they're just, they don't have the quality control that's up to snuff, but the devices are so close to being acceptable, but they just don't live up to my expectation and what I would want. Now, granted, $76.26 for a 100 watt dual 18650 unique looking pretty strong, uh, good good feel in the hands device is not that expensive and you get a lot for your money. But there's, there's issues and I need to let you know that so you can make an informed decision when you're looking to buy a product. Okay, so let's talk about what I like first. Um, I like the looks. You know, the aesthetics are definitely subjective, but I really do like the finish of the the brass color uh, portions on the top and bottom, it feels strong and durable. Uh, I like the Camry logo that's you know etched into the device here. The button fires nice and clicky. It is a little, there's a little rattle on the button, which should have been fixed in my opinion, but it does click and fire great. It fires immediately after it goes into sleep mode, which is nice. And you know the device is powerful, so you can fit a lot of uh, different tanks on here, and it can fire um, with regularity. It's not going to you know pause on you or go to sleep and then take two seconds to, to load up. It doesn't do that. It fires right away. It also fires down to let's see 0.15 to three ohm resistance levels. So it's gonna be compatible with a lot of different atomizers. And um, you know, it has a lot of safety protection built into it. It's gonna protect you. I like the rosewood and the deep rosewood, which is what I have here, I believe. Let me just double check. It doesn't say on here. Oh, this is the walnut, they call it. So the walnut color is the wood that I have. And it does feel like it's a real wood. Uh, it feels, you know, quality. I don't know if the wood's soft. It seems like it could take some nicks pretty, it can take some drops pretty well, but I wouldn't want to drop it on something because it is rather thin. Uh, access point on the bottom. I like, I like being able to pull this, open it. S nice spring loaded battery connections here. And uh, I hope that the springs are durable over time. I've only had this for about a week. So who knows if it'll still make connection in the long run, but you know, I can't decide that right now. <clears throat> the batteries do slide in and slide out rather easily. Uh, you wanna make sure that you follow the little indicators that are on the bottom of the 
uh, battery door here. It says minus and plus. So you put them in correctly, but it does have re reverse battery protection. So, you know, it's not a huge deal for me. Uh, the door does seem clicky when you lock it and unlock it. So that is a good thing. And that's much better than the Camry 200 that had that silly pin that you could lose. This is actually all built into the bottom, which I like. So changing batteries is easy. If you want, you can also charge through the micro USB, which is another nice feature. The dial, man, the dial, the dial works and it's really cool how you can sort of spin it, but it's, it's too inconsistent. Okay. It doesn't have enough of a click, 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 click that you would want. It also is, it's loose, 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 and then it gets tight and then it gets loose again. So it just doesn't feel like the quality went into the dial. I wish it was better. It works, but there's definitely some quality and some, um, I want, I want more of a feedback in the dial. I want it to stay in its positions much easier. I mean, it's sloppy. I can, you know, it slides way too easily. So that's definitely a negative uh, now that we're going into the negatives. Uh, I wish that the 510 was spring loaded. And I also don't understand why I have to hit this button three times to go into super mode to be able to hit that 100 watt limit. Um, it's not a huge deal, one, two, three, and then I'm in super mode and it tells you that you have to have a over 25 amp battery, um, which is nice that it has the warning but I just don't understand why they make you do that. Um, maybe it's a safety issue, and if it is, then that's probably a good thing, but it's kind of for me, who I know that I use 25 amp and above batteries, uh, for me it's not, it's more of a burden uh, for me. There's another thing that I've noticed that's cropped up the past couple days, and that is, when I fire this button, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, there's a whine that's coming from the chip or, I don't know, it's coming from the, the inside of the chip. I don't know if it's faulty or defective. The device is still working, but it definitely is from the chip. It's like a pee. So that's not good. This would be sent back by me if, if I had purchased this device. Um, but I haven't noticed any issues with the screen or anything like that. It's easy to read. Uh, so it's, once again, it's a quality control issue. Um, that's, that's really what I have to say. When I put this tank on another device, it doesn't have that hiss or that high pitch squeal. So there's definitely something going on in here that is just not good. But other than that, You know, it vapes well, but then again, so does a mechanical mod, you know, that vapes well too, but you don't have to spend $76 and have it be subpar in terms of quality. So that's it. Um, do I see what camera's going for? Yeah. Do I think they need to definitely leave stuff in the oven longer so that it's fully completed and the fit and finish meets expectations? If they want to remain relevant in this field, in this industry, yeah, they have to definitely work on some quality control issues. Um, Anyway, so there you go. Uh, if you'd like to pick it up, there's a link below. And uh, there's the Camry 100. Once again, unmet expectations. Fair device, subpar quality control. It's not bad looking if you're into this this steampunk, you know, pirate something, whatever they're going for. You know, that's it. So... But if you love to vape, why don't you fight for your right to vape? Go to www.casaa.org and join today. Membership is free. And if you don't do it, nobody else will. So fight for your right to vape. Join CASA. You can also find me on the web at www.thevaporchronicles.com and subscribe to my channel. All the subscribers matter to me. All of my subscribers, I thank you for subscribing. And for anyone new, please subscribe. More content on the way. And I try to give you the most up-to-date, honest reviews available on YouTube for all of your vaping needs. You can also see me live once a week, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. on the YouTube channel, The Vape Team. There's a link below for The Vape Team. And me, 
Mike Vapes and Buck Kickers from Buck Kickers Reviews. We do it live and it's all things vape with special guests and everything in between. So join us on the vape team. It is a lot of fun. Thank you very much and I will see you really, really soon on the Vapor Chronicles.